Hi, hi, lovely people. Welcome to my tutorial for today. How are you doing today? How is your business? How is your family? How is your environment? And how is everything pertaining to you? I trust that God is being so faithful as he is to me, to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. And if you are here too, please, I implore you to do so before leaving. And when you do that also, tap on the notification bell so that once I upload, you get notified. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be doing something very, very beautiful and yet simple. We are going to be making this particular dress. It's not going to have any half cut, but I'll just put something that looks like a band to make it look like it has a half cut, okay? So I have here, this is two yards of this fabric. This is one and a half yards. And then this is just pieces, okay? These are just fragments of materials I've used before, but I want to use this one for something, so I'll be needing it as well. So quickly, let's just get to the business of the day. So looking at the picture that appeared on the screen, we're going to be using this plain material for one side and then the flower material for the other side. Okay. So what it means is that this plain material is going to be front and back of one side and the flower material front and back of the other side. Okay, so quickly I'll fold into two. Okay, so now having folded it, Remember I said what I'm cutting now is one front, one back, but of the same fabric, okay? I have here one and a half inches zipper allowance. This is where the other one ended. So I attached, I included one and a half inches zipper allowance, okay? Now here it's going to form the center. I hope you get that, not this folded side. This is going to form the center. Now here is another line. This is two inches away from the midpoint. Remember I said this is the midpoint, not the folded side. Okay, please, this is the midpoint. This is one and a half inches zipper allowance. This is two inches away from the midpoint. I'll be covering these two inches with this fabric. That's the essence of this. And the next thing I did is to divide the two inches into one one because what I'll be needing is one inch. Okay? The reason I'm introducing it like this is for everybody to follow along. First, this is one and a half inches zipper allowance. This is two inches. I'll be covering these two inches with this fabric. Okay. I divided these two inches into one. That's the second line, the middle line you have here. So one inch here, one inch here. Now my measurement is going to be starting from this line, this line at the center. I hope you are clear on that. Shoulder measurement is 16 inches. Three inches for shoulder slope. And here one inch for shoulder slope as well. Armhole is eight and a half inches. Okay. Bust measurement, sorry. Shoulder to bust measurement is twelve and a half inches, seam allowance inclusive. 
that is half an inch I will take from here. Shoulder to waist is 17 inches plus half an inch. And then waist to hip is 9 inches. I'll just make them into a straight line. The full length of the gown I'm working with is 58 inches, but I have 60 inches in all. All right, so having done this now, I'll place my bust, waist, and hip measurements. Bust is 42 into 4, 10 and a half. Remember, my measurement is on this second line 10 and a half. Seam allowance, 3 inches. Waist is 35 into 4 is 8.75. 1 inch for that. And then three inches for seam allowance. Hip is forty six into four is eleven point five. I'll also add three inches allowance. So first I'll need to connect this. Okay. So this is 9 inches below the hip line. This is the hip line. 9 inches below the hip line, you put a slight curve. Okay, it's just serving as a guide. That is the curve from your hip to a little bit above your knee. That's this place. Okay, now if you get that, you continue. I hope you see what I did. Okay, and I think for want of space, I will cut this one first of all. So that I will have enough space. Okay, so having cut it out, this is what we have. This is the lower part, this is the upper part. Okay, the only thing left now is the neck. Be using the neck width of three and a half inches. For front, I'll use four inches, and for back, I'll use one and a half inches. Okay, so this is for back and this is for front. Okay, 
So the next thing I will do now will be to use this to cut the second side. Remember I said this is just one. Okay? So I will still use this to cut this fabric. Okay. Alright, so now I have cut the two sides. I hope you see it. So this is for the front. This two is for the front. And then this is for the back. Alright, so the next thing will be to cut out the pieces we are going to be using to cover this front side. I hope you have not forgotten about this line. Okay, I have here this pieces cut to length and it's about two and a half inches. So I'm going to be using it to cover this place. I'll go, I'll put it on each side of the four pieces. Remember, our gown is now four pieces. So I'm going to be putting it on each side of the four pieces. Okay. The reason I made this two and a half, and this is two, is to use the half inch to sew it from here. This is the way our dress is. So first, I'm going to sew this way. Using my two and a half, I will sew this way, and then turn it like this okay i hope it's clear enough that's the essence of the half inch i added extra is for the sewing allowance on this line okay so firstly that's what i'm going to be doing right away i'm going to do it on all the four pieces of the okay. gown okay so as you can now see i have uh, attached the blue one and then I joined the two together. I hope you see it. This is the front. And if you look at that picture very well, you will see there is a slit at the front. This is the slit at the front. This is the inner side. I had to use lining on this flowered fabric because it was looking a little bit transparent but for this one i won't be adding any lining okay all you have to do here is by the time you're knitting this roughness you use your hem gum to hem it properly so that it will just sleep or relax very well this is the inner side okay also this is the back okay Next, I joined the back. I did not insert zip yet. I joined it because I wanted to get it accurate and iron it out before I now open it up for the zip. Okay. So the next thing I did was to cut out the facing. This is the facing for the front. This is the facing for the two back panels. So I'll go to the machine and I cut it, each of them two. I hope you see it. This is the facing. I'll be using this as the lining. This is the facing for the front. I'll be using this as the lining. So I'll go to the machine now. Line the facing first of all before I attach it to both the front and the back. I'll only need to attach at the neckline because again I'll be using my hem gum to hem it very well. Because as you can see this fabric it will be very absurd for you to allow your seam line to show at the front because you will be confused whether you are using an off-white colored thread or this color of thread. So the best is for you to use your hem gum to hem the neckline. That is after you have attached this one. Okay, you turn it over, use your hem gum to glue it properly. All right. So these are the first things I've lined them. I will then need to attach it to the neck from the right side I will sew turn it over top stitch 
so that it will now be firmly held inside okay and i also hope you saw the way i lined it i lined the lower part the place that will be placed against the neck is not lined you can see it is still rough that's because i'm going to be attaching it here so that by the time i fold it it will now be hidden inwards also i forgot to mention you remember why we were cutting this allowance here was two inches i hope you remember and i said one was supposed to be for this that is the other remaining one inch inwards i hope you see it so that you understand perfectly what i did here when we were cutting i had two lines okay so in joining them in attaching them i attached from the line at the middle so that you have one inch on the outside one inch on the inside i hope it's clear enough okay so you see i've done the facing so by the time i put my hem gum now it will relax properly and be held down i hope you see it same thing goes for the back so the next thing i will do now will be to join them at the two sides using the body measurement sorry join them at the shoulder first and then at the two sides using the body measurement okay so i've done the joining at the two sides as you can see i did not put that but if you want to put that you can still put and how do you put it just fold into two measure out your shoulder to waist measurement into two like this you measure your shoulder to waist the one i'm working with is 17 inches So this is 17 inches okay and then this is my for the back this is my zipper allowance of course i hope you still remember i'm yet to insert my zip okay you measure four and a half inches from the zipper allowance okay four and a half inches away from your zipper allowance then you go up by it depends on how long you want it five five and a half six inches is okay okay and then you go down by five inches okay i hope you understand what i did so you are sewing half inch from here half inch from here to meet at this point the same thing with this it's going to go this way I hope it's clear enough. I really hope you can see this. I'm trying my best to make it visible. So it's going to go this way. That is for the back. The same thing goes for the front, only that the dart is now shorter than that of the back. You also measure your shoulder to waist measurement, which is 17. Your fabric already is on fold and then you measure four and a half inches away from your midpoint i hope you know this four and a half represents your nipple to nipple measurement okay and then you go up by four inches you come down by four inches okay then you take half inch here half inch on the other side to meet at this point so you have something like this as well. I hope it's clear enough. So you are getting something like this as well for the front. Now the only difference is that the back that is longer than the front that. I hope you can see it. This is the front that and this is the back that. The front that is 8 inches. And the back that is 11 inches 
it can even be longer than this it depends on how you want it that is if you want to put that okay but for this there is no that if i still want to put that i will still do that all right now having done this the next thing will be to attach the sleeve and the pocket you see in that picture there is pocket and i made provision for it okay so i'll be attaching the sleeve and the pocket so here is the pocket i've already cut it out you insert your hand this way there is no specific shape you insert your hand this way that's why i did it like this so i'll go and close up from around here to this point this place is on food so i'm closing up to this place i'll also come here from around here close up to this place i cut two of them also this is the basic sleeve i cut two different ones as well and then i have a turn up for them two different ones as well this is going for this one and this is going for this one all right so okay. this is the sleeve i've turned it up this is the second one all i did was just to attach this one from the wrong side top stitch and then bring it to the right side that's all so i will now proceed to close it up and attach to the body of our dress first there's another thing we'll be doing after this sleeve and pocket we will now put something that looks like a band at the waistline area so for the pocket i've also stitched it all i need to do is attach the one that has the flower material which is this one at this side i will attach this one so for the, the pocket other. i'll just attach at the provision i already made i made an opening of about seven inches okay i'll open up like this sew this part on this side turn it over sew this one on the other side okay now as i've joined the sleeve the next thing will be to now put the band now if you look closely you will see i have markings here this is my shoulder to waist measurement i hope you can see it this line here that is my shoulder to waist measurement so i'll be placing the band across this way and my band is the same measurement with this one that is two inches i cut excess of it and i used my pressing iron to fold it in a bias form okay so i'll just need to place it across i marked this line all the way around the dress so i will just place this way okay and so on top along this line and also along the other line when i do that i will insert the zipper okay and then we will we'll now be left with just hemming the lower part of the dress so i'll go to the machine quickly and do this but first i'll use my pin to hold it steady okay since i already joined the back ordinarily you can still open this place up you understand when you open it you now have your dress spread out so that you can comfortably do it all right but i'm going to use pin to hold my own and then join it so here is the joining i hope you see it i've also attached the zip i used an invisible zipper for it okay you try as much as possible to make sure that this this part and this part align with each other here so that your work will look tidy 
So the last thing now will be to just use my hem gum to hem the lower part and that will be all. All right, people. So here is the result. This is looking very, very gorgeous. And it looks very much like an already made. Like I said, I will take my time to just hem the lower part of it with my hem gone. And then we are so good to go. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again for watching till the end. Feel free to try yours at home or in your show. If this tutorial has been helpful to you, please give us your thumbs up. Don't forget to also share our videos. Till we meet in my next tutorial, I'm sure you will take care of yourself. Try showing some act of kindness to people around you. And please, whatsoever that happens, make sure you are always happy. Bye!